Oh my god, oh, I'm so excited. I have just released a video about how I filmed and edited a commercial using DaVinci Resolve object mask tracking and how I was struggling to animate it without losing the tracking data. Basically, I couldn't. And DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 2, you cannot use your object mask tracking in Fusion, you cannot put it into the compound clip to animate it later on, your object tracking data simply disappears after you do any manipulation afterwards in editing tab. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. Just now they released DaVinci Resolve Beta 3 where this issue is solved and I have a cool tip for you how you can use DaVinci Resolve object mask tracking, bring everything into Fusion, do some editing, whatever you want, it works amazing. Here I have one of the graded shots of the commercial I made in the previous video. And as you can see here, if I make a stroke, it selects our meatball just fine. I will create another stroke and you know why if you watched my previous video. And I will track everything from the beginning to the end. After the tracking is done, I can connect this node to the alpha output. If you don't know how to add alpha output, you just simply need to right click on your node gradient tree. And here, you instead of remove alpha output, because I already have it there, you will have add alpha output. Now if I go to the editing page and I try to animate our flying object somehow, as you can see the tracking data, I, let me go back to the color tab, it simply disappeared, there is no tracking data anymore. And now let me provide you with a solution. What you need to do, you need to go to your editing page, you need to create a new compound clip, let's create it, let's say mid ball. Then you need to right click on your video and here open in the timeline. Just make sure before you do that to click right here and choose this option to see all the timelines which you will create afterwards. Then right click on your video, open in timeline and then from here you can go to your color tab and you can make one stroke right here to select your meatball, then you can select another stroke right here to avoid having this stick in your footage and you can track it from the beginning till the end. Let's again connect our node to the alpha output and go to our editing tab. Right here you can see that the tracking data went perfectly fine and then the next step you need to do, you need to go to your timeline, don't make any manipulations inside the compound clip, go straight away to your timeline and as you can see now I can move it around, I can animate it and the best thing you can do actually you can go to the fusion composition and then here you can add a transform node and you can manipulate your flying objects as much as you want to. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I can see so much use cases for DaVinci Resolve object mask tracking because I can see how easier it is than rotoscoping and stuff like this. You can simply track your objects, create some amazing work with it. I'm so excited sharing this solution with you guys and if you find this video helpful please leave me a like, comment down below and consider subscribing for my channel for more upcoming content. I will be sharing a lot of my work in the future videos. It really helps this channel to grow. Please make sure to check my previous video how I made a burger commercial using DaVinci Resolve object mask tracking instead of using green screen. You can find it right here. It, there are some very useful tips. Just avoid. Uh, the animation and use the compound clip as I showed you right here. I'm so excited, I cannot even sit on my seat, guys. As always, it was a pleasure serving you, providing you with the solutions, and until next time, Nashledano.